No one else is coming today. But they said we can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why they started watching me in the first place. Oh, how's that cut doing? Probably already healed, huh? So, uh, how come you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. Hey, they're all dried up. I guess it's been pretty hot lately. It's okay. I'll take care of it. Whoa, what was that? I made them healthy again. You can do that? That's incredible, Chidori! It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? Well, yeah, I guess. But that's about all I've got going for me. Without that, I'd be a nobody. I just talk a big game. Pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. Or why I'm here at all. Why? Why we are here? When I was a kid, I had this crazy dream. What kind of dream? That one day I'd grow up to be a pro baseball player. <laughs> Pretty stupid, huh? I guess that's part of being a kid. Is that so? I don't remember much from my childhood. All I remember is... being surrounded by white. Huh? I hate hospitals. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry. But I don't mind that much this time. Since you come to see me so often. Chidori? I... I understand. I won't let you down.
Greetings. It's been a while. Three seasons have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly, and many things change. Yet some things will always remain the same. Don't you agree? Hmm. If you say so, then perhaps I was mistaken. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. That tower, for instance. I've been thinking about it lately. I wonder, will our relationship stay the same? Or will it evolve? No matter what the future holds, you and I will be friends. That is for certain. 